welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be explaining breakdown in electronegative gas first let us discuss what is electronegative gas electronegative gas is nothing but a gas a gas which captures a gas which which captures free electrons free electrons and forms and forms and forms negative and forms negative ions this type of gas are generally known as electronegative gas in high voltage engineering uh, sulfur hexafluoride sf6 this is one of the most popular electronegative gas application of sulfur hexafluoride is mainly in circuit breakers you know what is circuit breaker it is a protective device it is mainly used in power system it makes and breaks the circuit that's a peculiarity of circuit breaker so sulfur hexafluoride is one of the main example of electronegative gas so basically if i talk about dielectric breakdown there are two process there are two dielectric process in uh, electronegative gas commonly we can say that attachment process attachment process attachment process this is actually one of the main reason for uh, dielectric breakdown in electronegative gas one more is there but this is most important attachment process there are two types of attachment process attachment process can be divided into two first one is known as direct attachment first one is known as direct attachment direct attachment process and the second one that is known as dissociative attachment or dissociate attachment dissociate attachment these are the two uh, subdivisions of attachment process now let us look back what is a direct attachment process direct attachment direct attachment what is direct attachment direct attachment process is nothing but electrons directly attaches to form negative ions that means you can see the equation electrons that are directly clubbing with the gaseous atom or gaseous molecules and it forms negative ions this type of process is known as direct attachment where the the splitting of gaseous molecules into constituent atom the splitting of gaseous molecule into constituent atom that is known as dissociative attachment or dissociate attachment if i talk about dissociate attachment dissociate attachment just like a splitting i can say in this manner ab plus e that gives a plus b minus basically splitting process that is actually referred as dissociate attachment these are the two sub process which are related to attachment process so that is the main reason for uh, dielectric breakdown now uh, let us have a mathematical expression for dielectric breakdown of electronegative gas now you know Uh, this is one of the modified equations of Thomson's theory. I is given by I naught into alpha divided by alpha minus eta into exponential alpha minus eta into d minus eta divided by alpha minus eta whole divided by one minus gamma into alpha by alpha minus eta into exponential alpha minus eta into d minus one. This is the modification of uh, Thomson's theory for electronegative gas. now apply the breakdown condition how to apply breakdown condition the denominator part you can call the denominator part that should be put to zero you are equating denominator part equal to zero so if i equate denominator part into zero then equation can be rewritten as follows gamma into alpha divided by alpha minus eta into uh, exponential alpha minus eta into d minus 1 that is equal to 1 1 can be taken into um, rhs side so uh, this equation forms in this manner so where eta is known as 
uh, attachment coefficient eta eta is known as attachment coefficient eta i can write eta is known as attachment coefficient attachment coefficient eta is known as attachment coefficient all right suppose uh, if uh, in this case alpha will be greater than eta where alpha is known as townsend's primary ionization coefficient okay alpha greater than eta then i can rewrite the equation as follows gamma into alpha by alpha minus eta that is equal to 1 where gamma is known as townsend secondary ionization coefficient alpha is known as townsend primary ionization coefficient and moreover eta i already explained attachment coefficient this attachment coefficient is only applicable in case of electronegative gas so if i do like this gamma into alpha divided by alpha minus eta that is equal to 1 then if you modify i can modify i can take a common factor alpha from this equation then alpha can be written as alpha is equal to eta divided by 1 minus gamma so this is the actually breakdown condition for electronegative gas okay so that is a summary about the class this is a simple derivation that will be asked in uh, some of the university examinations especially vishwasharya technological university uh, they will be directly asking that derive an expression for breakdown of electronegative gas or else they may ask write a brief note on electronegative gas uh, at that time we can explain those points first you talk about what is electronegative gas definition that means a gas which captures free electrons and forms negative ions those kind of gases are generally known as electronegative gas uh, a best example is sulfur hexafluoride application is circuit breaker then regarding breakdown process there are two breakdown process attachment process and one more process there i would like to explain right now uh, then attachment process can be divided into direct attachment process and uh, dissociative attachment process and i explain the definition individually now i would like to rewrite uh, the townsend's equation that is applicable for electronegative gas then from this i introduced uh, three coefficient that is alpha then uh, gamma and then eta then where eta is unfamiliar to you that is why i just explained that is eta is known as attachment coefficient then derive the condition denominator part should be equal to zero finally what i will get as alpha is equal to eta divided by 1 minus gamma so alpha is townsend primary ionization coefficient uh, gamma is the townsend secondary ionization coefficient moreover eta is known as attachment coefficient so this is the breakdown condition most important uh, derivation for breakdown conditions of electronegative gas so this is the summary of this class uh, first thank you for listening my video uh, kindly subscribe and share with your friends thank you